here you can see is the Turnigy 9x and in this video I'll be introducing you guys to the IRC transmitter that I'm about to use that I'm gonna use for my drone right there okay and so this is how it came out from the box that's it right there Yeah, so it came out so um, that's the receiver right there is very huge and so what I'll be doing in this video is I'll be modifying my Turnigy 9x the Turnigy 9x gives a range but um, I've done a lot of research about increasing the range on your Turnigy 9x. At the back there, I have my battery. It uses a double L cell batteries. But sooner or later, I'm gonna be changing those batteries. You see that? They didn't come with these batteries. I bought it myself. So here is the deal. Um, and let me. You guys might be wondering, oh, what, the, what, do, what does it mean he wants to, you know, want to upgrade the system? And this is how I'll be explaining it for you guys. Um, teaching you guys how to modify the Turnigy 9X radio. So this is a screw right here. At the back, we have screwdrivers. You know, you got to pick the one that could remove the screws. There. I'll try and change the screw to a better one. Let me see if that works. Fine. If you modify your Tony Nine Inch, you get a better range. That's all you know. So this is where the deal will be coming from. What we're simply talking of is we're using the FR Sky system, and that's it right here. I'll be using this instead of that. These give better range plus fail safe. I mean, it's a lot you could do with these. And so, what, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing this module and, be using, and we're going to use the FR Sky DJT no, module. There's a DHT. The difference between the D that means this version, the DJT and the DHT is that the DHT is the one that goes inside the module. That means the DJ the DHT you have to solder the PPM cable from it into the module. But with this version, that's the DJT. It's a plug-in and play version. There's nothing you gotta do, just and so what we're gonna I took out this module and the next thing we need to do is remove those screws. We just have to jack it up. And so you can see inside where the antenna is coming from. So you could do two things here, either you unsolder it or you just simply jack it off like that. Yeah, as simple as ABC. I just simply jack it off and that's all you need. And all you have to drag it out and put it in the back. How you saw it. Okay. Just like that. And then these back. So basically what we did was took out the antenna, the wire that was going out. That was coming from the antennas that missed these of the remote control into the module. We took it out. And then we put in this back. And 
Now you have the screw back. So I hope you guys understood the first step was basically me, you know, putting pulling out the cables coming out from the motion. That's it right there. You jack this out and that's all. And since we screwed it out, you just have to open this gently. That's, that's what it's going to look like. Those two wires in between, you just have to jack it out easy, guys. Like that. And then finish there. That's all you got to see. And what you want to do is pull this somewhere. Here. Now take the back. Don't try to turn it upside down as all the screws are coming out. What, we want, what you want to do is take back the screw. Screw that little this part, the screwdriver out. It's right there. You're gonna see. If you get yours, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. When that comes out, then you gotta just check, and that's it. And that's what I was talking of, guys. You done with that? And uh, yep. <laughs> that's what I was talking of, guys. You done with it? And that's all. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. I mean, all you have to do then is just put this back and then try to get the. Uh, the 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 wire removed. Try to put it there. That's where it, that's where it's going into. Let me try to put that in. Now close this. Like that. And when she closed that, just. Tighten up the screws back. Okay. It's done. And wow, that's the Turning in 9X. The antenna jacked out from it. And the module removed out from the back. That's the top of them right there. That's the transmitter. And what's the next step, guys? The Fire Sky system. When I got my Fire Sky system, when I finished this process, I went to the back and then tried to put the Fire Sky system. And just as that, as I was doing that, I noticed something weird. I don't know if. It's I don't see people, you know, I don't see a lot of like viewers and YouTube RC guys post this warning online. But it's just something in case somebody out there I see and I say, oh wow, I had that problem too. Here it is. When I try to put in the FR Sky system at the back, this was how it's too. Just like that. And imagine, and you can see that it's not, it, it didn't even stick inside. I'll press it, press it. And what I found out was uh, in the Turnkey 9 edge, those cable coming out to get inside the back of this FR Sky. The, rock, the plastic back there could enter because in the FR Sky system, the, the rectangle square was actually smaller. So what I did was I cut it out. You could see that. There's rough. I was the one that cut it out to make it wider like that. And that's what makes it click now. You see that? That's what makes it going flat. And then for my fire size system, it came with a, an antenna. And all you gotta do is just screw that in. That's all. And this is your new system. This is how your new system is going to look like. 
and but for today my video I'll be backing it up with a with this guy here they call what is his name it's a it's a transmitter booster wow look at that they say it's a booster and it boosts out you know power from the transmitter but I can't connect it direct so I need a SME or what do they call the name of the plug this plug to make sure I do the job well and then I connect the antenna That's what it's gonna look like. Look at how long that is. That's a hung system, that's it right there. And then the booster we need a power cable to power it up. That's just easy. That's the easy stuff to do. And that's how it's gonna be. And yep, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy my um my video. And um, that's how you uh, put in the so you put in the 9x the FR Sky system at the back of your Eternity 9x and that's it. So hope you guys learned a lot. You could please do subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. For now. Wait.